Hello everyone, this is Ravina. Welcome to Sudo Coder and welcome to chapter number one. So we, today we are going to learn what is Python, what are its applications and also how to set that up on our computer. So moving on to the first thing, introduction to Python. So what is Python? Python is a high level general purpose programming language and it's known for its readability and simplicity. So you must have heard a lot that Python is really simple to read and you know it's very simple to learn. And actually, I think that's the one language out there that anyone can really learn. And the next thing is it is widely known as a scripting language. Now, what is a scripting language? Scripting language is a programming language that is interpreted. So every code that we write has to be converted into machine level code for the computer to run it because computer only understands binary. And Python is a programming language which is actually uh, converted into machine level code when we run it. So that is what a scripting language means. Now moving on to applications. So there are many applications out there. I just listed a couple of them down here. Uh, so let's go through them. So the first application that we have is web backend and mobile app development. Python is used extensively in development Cloud services out there also support Python. So one example would be AWS. AWS has very good support for Python. Even they have very good documentation for it. Then the next one is uh, data science and machine learning and artificial intelligence. So it is, it can be used in, you know, analyzing data, cleaning the data, all that good stuff, the ATL process and all that. So it, it uh, Python is heavily used there. It can also be used for automation and scripting. We already talked about scripting. What is automation? Automation is, you know, creating some test suits, automating some process, things like that. The next thing we have is game development. So it can be used to develop games. There's IoT, there's cybersecurity and network servers and protocols. So the list goes on. We just have few of them listed here. Now let's look into how we can set that up. So for the setup, I actually uh, released a poll on my LinkedIn to see which editor to use for this course. And I got a lot of votes for VS Code. And so I have decided that I'll be using VS Code for this Python course. If you would like to be a part of all these polls, uh, join my Discord channel. I'll be posting some polls and questions there so you can help me with feedback so that I can you know use that feedback and implement them in the upcoming videos as well. So let's talk about setup. First thing that we need is install Python. Second thing is install VS Code. And the last thing is install extensions in VS Code. Yes, it's that simple. It's just a three step process. Now let me take you to my browser and then we'll install some software to it. Okay, so I'm in my browser. The first thing that I need is to install Python. So I'm going to write install Python. I click, it says download Python. I click here. So it takes me to this page. Let me show that for you guys. So it takes me here where it says download the latest version for Mac OS. If you do that, if you're on a Windows, it will directly show you download latest for Windows. So don't worry. And if it doesn't, then it's saying looking for Python with a different OS, Python for Windows. So if I click here, it then shows you what is the latest release and then you know you can download it based on if you have a 32 bit or a 64 bit or ARM64. Okay, so I'm coming here. I click on download Python since I'm on a Mac. I'm going to install it from here. So I'm just downloading the Python package and it's asking me where do you want to download it? You can just download it in downloads. Okay, so while this downloads, I'm going to pause this video and get back. The Python download is complete. You can see it's right here. So I'm going to double click on it. It will take me to the introduction. So I continue. Read me, continue, license. I click on continue. It's asking me to agree for it. So I agree and then I click on install. Since I have already installed Python on this machine, I'm not going to install it again. But if you are going it through the first time, Please click on install. It will complete installing and then it will give you a confirmation that Python has been installed and then you can click on finish or done, whatever button shows up. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to install VS Code. So for that, I'm going to go again into my browser and I search for VS Code download. 
so it's the for the first link that we have the vs studio code i click here and then it gives me three options okay so if you are a windows user click here if you are a mac user you can use that to download or if you are ubuntu you know you can use that all right so i'm a mac user and i have an intel chip so i can either uh, choose to do a zip versus cli but i just want the standard one so i'm just going to click on mac and it says thanks for downloading vs code for mac so it's asking me where do i want to save it so i will just say downloads okay so i actually downloaded it a few minutes ago as you can see uh this is done so i'm just going to use that as an example i don't want to wait for three minutes and then come back i have the zip here with me so i double click on it it's actually expanding the zip and then it creates a visual studio code dot app okay once i double click on it it's going to install visual studio code for me it can be different installation for you if you go through the standard way of it uh, standard way then it will give you the same prompts as before go next 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 agree and then finish installing okay so i open it okay so i have my vs code installed now the first thing that we are going to do is i have created a folder and i want to make sure that all my files are in one folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on open it is going to open the explorer for me and then i go youtube and then python course project files and i open it okay so right now i'm inside the folder what i have to do is i want to create a new file and since this is the project the first thing that we are going to do is do hello world okay we cannot go wrong with that so i say hello and the python files all python files should have extension of .py so i do .py okay so i have my first file which is hello.py let me zoom it for you hello.py now you will get this um, pop up here do you want to install recommended python extension from microsoft for python language so if you decide to click install here you can skip the extension part all right but since what if someone doesn't get this pop up okay in that case what we are going to do is we are going to go to extensions and here we are going to write python so when i do that it's the first one that you're gonna get is the one we want so i click on install it's installing installing okay it's done so i close this now as you can see i get a run button here which was not there previously so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to click on my explorer because i like to see my files on left i don't want anything else open here so the first thing that we are going to do just to make sure that we are all set with python on our machines and then we can you know get started with the real chapters i'm going to print hello world so i i'm going to do hello world okay so once i have that i click on this run button as you can see uh it prints hello world for us so that means that the python setup is now complete and now we can move on to our next chapters i hope this video was helpful just reiterating myself that all the links are going to be in the description below links to the softwares and also link to the deck that deck is going to get updated as we move along with the course and if you would like to be part of the polls or any questions or if you would like to be a part of the progress of this channel then please join discord and also feel free to follow me on linkedin uh, if you have any comments for me please let me know in the comment section below uh, like comment and please subscribe my channel if you would like to see you know upcoming python courses all right so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one